What's up guys? Iceman here. So I made another Amazon as some of you might know. Ice Fox. She's level 60 now. A Bozon. I wanted to experience the full game starting off as a Bozon so that she can endure through all hell and I can get a sense of progression and accomplishment via using a bow and just shitty gear. And it's been rewarding, man. It's been a toad experience. And check this out. Here's my mercenary, level 59. I'm in Nightmare right now, Act 5. Shitty boots, a dual Saigon combo for some life leech and attack speed, an ethereal bone snap. I should probably uh, switch this out soon, but check out that damage, man. It's It's 300 enhanced. It's maxed out. So really, I want to like up this thing and slam it just for the fun of it. You know what I mean? And he's wearing Iron Pelt, Crown of Thieves, just for the toad of it. Uh, it has a really nice replenished life and some other decent mods. Uh, the Life Leech has been slightly nerfed in Project Diablo 2. Here's my Zon's gear. Sanders gloves. This bow, which is actually pretty damn nice. Howl Tusk is toad now for a ranged class because it gives IS, but not just any IS, 20 IS. It's absolute hog. And it gives knockback. This is like a pearl, a poor man's early game giant skull. All right. That's what this thing's kind of like. I would like them to have rare arrows or uniques, uh, hopefully in the near future in Project E2. I have two cannot be frozen mods, so it's complete waste. I just don't really have any other boots I want to try to transfer right now. Shitty mantle leech on that mantle, or whatever you call it now. A mouth belt. There's her life leech, not much. Durio shell. This dropped from Nightmare Bell. Oh, shit. That's bullshit. Holy shit. It's one off from being the uh, worst roll possible. 21 res and 5 MDR. That is so fucking shitty. But you know what? I'm going to slam that SOB anyway. Defense bullshit mod. All right, has some defense. I could obviously uh, lem rune that thing and up it. So we'll gain like 70 some defense or whatnot. But anyway, I was going to uh, perhaps compare Barissa, which is a hog bow, and look at her damage. Her strength is 1800 versus Gold Strike, which is only 800. Okay, so this damage to demons and all that bullshit. The Gothic bow, for example, okay, think about its base damage. It's like 10 to 50, right? So what I found, and what you toads have been uh, relaying over to fat ass, is that this damage to demons is just like that shit on Fort, only it's only to demons. And yeah, it doesn't show up on your character attack speed, uh, or attack screen damage and all that shit. So basically, this 150% damage to demons, that's not your overall fucking damage, times two and a half, all right? It's, uh, that's applies to your base weapon damage before all modifiers. And the Gothic bow is 50 fucking damage max. All right. So 50 times 150, what the fuck is that? Is that like 125? So it gives you like 125 damage more to demons. All right. So her, if it, if that were on screen, It'd be like, instead of 889 damage, it'd be like 1,011 damage or some shit, all right? It'd, it'd be like that. Or 14 or some shit, I don't know. It'll be somewhere in that range, all right? It ain't going to be 1,600 fucking damage uh, from what I found, all right? So let me know what you dogs think about that in the comments below. Just like how Ford is shit damage, it says 300%, but it's fucking bullshit. The same applies to this demon and undead. It's just fucking bullshit. All right, it applies to your base weapon damage before all multipliers. 
is when that applies, all right? 150% to 10 to 50 base damage because that, I believe, is what you get with a Gothic bow. <clears throat> so, yeah, those <clears throat> base damage is important on your weapons. That's why Grief was such a fucking hog back in the day uh, before they fucked it in the ass in PD2 and Path of Diablo. Grief was such a fucking hog because it actually added like 350 base damage. It was fucking crazy. But now they just uh, call it like to max damage. So even though on the weapon itself it looks about the same as Grief would, theoretically, uh, it's garbage damage because that applies to the base of the fucking phase blade. Or I said that wrong, but but yeah, nonetheless, uh, Grief used to be a hog, all right? Because its actual base damage was like 350 or something like that, or 400, 340 to 400, right? It's cray cray. And obviously there aren't any weapons in Diablo 2 that have that. Uh, the greatest you'd have would be like an Ethereal Warpike, which, what is the base damage of that, like 200 some? And that's just max damage, so you gotta get the average between the two. So, if you're if you're considering it's, uh, it's minimal as well, its base damage is gonna be like, like 180 or something. Not 400 like a fucking Grief. Grief was so hog back in the day. You know what I'm saying? But here's Gold Strike Arch. So here's what it does to them demons, see? This is Nightmare. So don't get a big dick. Just fucking Nightmare mode, alright? So she ain't doing shit. Have two Valkyries. I I don't want to use multi-shot. Alright? Because look. Look at the range, man. It's so... It's shitty. What kind of an archer can't even shoot 15 feet in front of her? You know, I don't even feel like an archer. Even though it's good... I refuse to use that fucking shit. And I know it's not going to be as optimal to use strafe, but I'm just going to do it. Partly because the experience, all right? Y'all got to y'all got to just enjoy your fucking time playing Diablo. Remember, once you get all the good shit, you just quit, you know what I mean? The journey, man. It's about the journey, okay? This is a spiritual journey. So who gives a fuck if y'all, you know, first want to get that fortitude, first want to get that chains of honor, you know, first want to get that enigma and all that fucking bullshit. But I know what happens when Fatty gets enigma and Torch and Annie, I fucking quit. And I ain't fixing to quit. You know, I, I'm fixing to be a warrior here, all right? Fucking polishing the ass, polishing the fucking seat with his ass warrior, all right? Not that I'm doing that all the damn time, to be honest with you guys. I only put in a few hours of Diablo the last couple days. Maybe a little bit more than that. You know, I'm trying to get a couple workouts in. Y'all gotta hit that fucking gym. More gym videos to come, by the way. You know, it's good to get out and go on a walk, man. Just get your fucking blood circulating, man. You're gonna enjoy Diablo more. And you might even get some buzzy. So... I mean, I probably shouldn't go here, but honestly, a lot of you guys are beating off to porn all the fucking time, and that turns you into a beta, man. <laughs> now I'm just fucking with you guys. <clears throat> but it might be true a little bit, you know what I mean? So so try to keep that to a minimal is, is what my advice is would be, all right? You got to stay hungry. You know, you ain't going to get real pussy if you ain't staying hungry. And if you just sit there and beat off... You ain't going to be hungry, man. You ain't going to want to go hunting. You're just going to be like, fuck it. I'm just going to get some pizza or something now. I need a fucking cigarette. You know what I mean? That's how it'll go. So you got to keep that shit to a minimal. Dumbass. Yeah, staying hungry is important, man. And it's kind of a similar concept with how I ain't, I ain't looking... I ain't fixing... To just bust my ass trading in Diablo. You know what I mean? I'm fixing to have me a spiritual journey. Alright? 
I mean, if you get if you get all the goodies right away, man. And to be honest with you, dogs, that's kind of how life is. Have you guys ever seen that video, Beauty and the Beast? Belle's fucking hot. I think she's the hottest uh, Disney star. Let me know in the comments. Who's the hottest Disney princess? Y'all are wrong if it ain't Belle. She's a bookworm. She ain't gonna go to the club and twerk that little ass around and get STDs. You know, she ain't prone to STDs because she's a bookworm. <clears throat> she's fixing to get herself a real man. You know, that's why she likes that beast motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Belle's hot as fuck. She's the best one. And your opinion is fucking bullshit if you disagree. But yeah, let me know regardless, all right? Uh, who's the hottest Disney princess? But where the fuck was it going with that? My point is, in Beauty and the Beast, the Beast, he had, all, like, you guys got to watch the fucking movie. All right? Do you even remember the beginning? I watched it, I think it was a year ago. I have it on Blu-ray. I'll be showing you guys off my... Uh, my home theater. I, I be showing you guys off that shit. But at the beginning of Beauty and the Beast, y'all, you'll see it. The Beast has everything. All right. He started his fucking life as a prince or some shit. Right? Isn't that how it goes? I might be wrong, but it's something close to that. Where he had everything, and obviously he wasn't happy. He fucked up. He did something big time that fucked him up. Because he didn't have perspective in shit, all right? So, he had to go through the process of being a, an ugly fucking beast and not getting any pussy for who knows how long. And it humbled him, you know what I'm saying? Because then when he became king... Or whatever the hell happened to him. I think he became a king or some shit. He had perspective. Alright. Here, I'm gonna... Alright, here we go now with Barissa. But where I was at is the Beast had perspective. After he had to go through all that bullshit. He was ugly as fuck. Nobody liked him. He talked to the fucking furniture. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he probably wasn't getting pussy. So it was essential. It's kind of my point, all right? It's fucking essential that um, that you put off gratification, basically, is, is part of the trick, I think. But but no, it's essential that uh, that you have to get a sense of the progression, all right? That's That's what I'm trying to say. You can skip that other thing for now. Holy fucking shit. Bariza's actually pretty fucking good. It's no wonder Baza would use uh, Bariza. Holy shit. And she's only level 60. Like, it, your damage is going to increase exponentially. Because you get max damage per level, right? Yeah. 150 max... Okay, I don't know how much per level. Six, twelve, two and a half? Is it two and a half? Holy fuck. Yeah, you could up this, you could socket it. I might slam it. But anyway, the problem with is, because I'm trying to go strafe, and strafe is extra slow with this. But holy shit. That's actually doing a good job. Yeah, but the thing is, man, with that Beauty and the Beast shit, it's essential, all right? You can't just have it all at the beginning, or you're not going to have any perspective, and you got to be able to revert back. Maybe that's what the fucking memory's for. I don't know. Maybe the memory will be better, you know what I'm saying? Well, you ain't going to forget this shit. But it's applicable to Diablo in that way. Like, y'all see an Iceman running around with, with fucking Sanders, and... Look at this shit. I even have two cannot be frozen mods. You know what the toad is? am I up to here? Like I said, man, you're putting off that gratification. All right, you got to stay hungry. 
I don't remember why the fuck I'm talking about this at this point. But yeah, what I'm most interested in is who the fuck is the, has the nicest ass when it comes to the Disney princesses. Let me know in the comments below. And which one do you think would be best suited in it when it comes to a subservient woman? Because I know you guys know that that shit's fucking important. You don't want that hoe twerking her ass at the club. You know, you don't want that hoe hanging out with her friends, going out, girls night out. Because you know what happens. Right? Listen, it's just stressful, right? Like, I'm just saying what's most optimal. I mean, I know these hoes that do that. That's fine, right? That's fine that these hoes that go and twerk their fucking ass and collect STDs. That's fine. But I'm just saying, which is the most optimal? You know, would you rather have her twerking her ass and grinding it on another guy's laps all fucking night? Or would you rather have her at home reading a fucking book? See? So that's the difference between these... Like, like, what the hell does Jasmine do for fun? And the Little Mermaid. Belle reads fucking books. So yeah, let me know in the comments which one do you think is uh, most optimal. Fucking shit! I ain't finding shit. Yeah, but, uh, see, look at how slow this is. Strafe sucks. Here, I'm going to try multi-shot for just a minute. Even though I refuse to use it. My intention is to get uh, the full Mav set. Check this out. Holy shit. This sucks. I'm going to have to use multi-shot. It's just too good. Even though, watch, look at the arrows, look at, look at where they end. See that? It's even worse down here. They don't even make it to the end of the screen. Up here. Could be worse. I, I don't like that nerf, you know, I'm thinking they should just nerf the fuck out of the damage if you gotta nerf it. Because I don't really feel like an archer when you can't shoot 15 fucking feet in front of you. I don't know if that's really qualified to be an archer. And I thought that's what this woman was. Really, they're trying to take away her rights. Alright? I usually ain't go there, you guys. As you guys might know, but they's... They's got their finger down on... They's holding down the women. Alright? The, they's holding down the women. So... That's fucked up. So let me know in the comments, should they release their thumb on the women? Because multi-shot got nerfed a fuck. And I think the only explanation is that the women is being oppressed here. Because that's not the way shit was intended. You guys know multi-shot. I'm about to go back to Path of Diablo just to play a fucking multi-shot Zon. On that note, I really hope Path of Diablo um, makes for stackable runes and stackable craftables because that's really convenient and give us a bigger stash why the fuck not so if you guys would like the video there you have it the Barisa and the other one I think the other one the other one's fast I gotta hit some. I gotta look into breakpoints. However, in fact, for strafe, it might it might be a little better actually over Brizza for strafe, and this as well. If you're focusing on the uh, if you're focusing on the elemental damage, definitely uh, freezing arrow because you can emit them faster. Boat's pr boat's pretty towed, but yeah, I want to experiment with Mav set. They have. Uh, Mavset has doubled in terms of its magic damage output in PD2, so it's it's quite viable, I believe, the bow. Even the two-part, bow and maybe the belt. 
So I'm looking to try that out. But if you guys will become a patron if you want, appreciate my supporters. Thank you for supporting Fat Boy. If you want to become a patron, click the link in the description below. May the Creator bless you and keep you. And may your finances prosper and be great, especially to my patrons. Peace be with you.